Warning, this educational video about catching flies may induce dry reaching and vomiting. Viewer discretion is highly recommended. Well, hi everyone, we're going to take a look at some ways that I catch flies in Australia. Uh, I've found a little way to refill fly traps like that one on screen there um, by basically using flies and not the bait that comes with the traps. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this style of fly trap. I've found it to be quite effective, but sometimes I've found the attractant uh, not to work. The trick with these is to put the attractant in there, put some water in there, and then leave this in a warm spot and hope that you're gonna start attracting flies. Um, what I've found is the problem is if the flies don't take to the trap, well, you can have a whole summer where there's nothing caught. And you're probably wondering, why, Leo, have you got gloves on in this video? Well, we're going to get into some fairly yucky stuff, and I'm going to show you what I've captured in these fly traps. Uh, this summer has been quite an awesome fly catching season. Okay, just be thankful that YouTube doesn't have smell -o vision because this thing absolutely stinks. Uh, it's been catching flies for the, about the last six to eight weeks, what's that, about two months. And I keep topping it up with water and the flies keep coming. And in fact, I've decanted some flies from this to start a second one here. And there's, apart from flies in there, there's also a ton of very yucky, squirmy looking maggots. But we're going to open up, I think, this one here. And we're going to have a closer look at what's going on inside. You know, even as I stand here, there are flies being attracted to this. I think it's a pheromone thing going on. Um, flies are the best things to attract flies, what I found. And I know that there's mating going on in there, because there's lots of maggots. Um, before I crack that open, I'm going to open up uh, one of the ones I'm going to start off, to show you my little trick to starting these off, without using uh, that sort of stuff there, which I find a bit hit and miss. Okay, well, first I'm going to decant some of the flies and oh, ooby doobies from this one. Oh man, this absolutely reeks! Oh, oh dear, I did be a warning in front of this video, I can tell you, it stinks! Okay, so what's going on down inside there is the perfect attractant to kill more flies. And of course, it's very important to get the lid back on. Now, from what I've worked out is a fly's desire to mate tends to override any other common sense that a fly may have. The way these traps work best for me is when I use the lure of the fly pheromone to trap more flies. I've certainly had a lot of success with these styles of traps over the years. It took me a while to work out the easiest way to uh, basically load them with something that attracts more flies. And the simple answer there is more flies, isn't it? Um, the trick also is to keep these away uh, from your home because they do stink. And by doing that, it keeps the flies away from your home because flies will come to this far more than let's say a bit of food which has been left outside and that's the part that I find really interesting. Okay I'm going to call this one the breakfast shot and uh, let's take a look at the flies in here. Some will escape but hey I don't care about that. Oh yeah. Oh fly salad surgery. Well I hate to think how many flies are in there and it's already attracting a lot of flies. Um, there's also the maggots in there as well. I don't know how long it takes to get that size with the maggots. There'll be entomologists out there who know more than me. But all I know is that's a lot of flies that weren't in the house. Now what I've been noticing is those guys there, the maggots, have got a very strong desire to live. And quite a few of them have escaped to underneath the bowl. And if I do a bit of a magic reveal here, maybe we'll see where they've gone. There are the naughty boys. Look at them. They want to live and now they're cooking in the sun on that hot, hot concrete. Well, those guys will be dinner if they get any hotter on that concrete. They're cooking up nice. Quite a few people on my spider video say to me bleach is a perfect way to kill insects and things. Is that true? Will these maggots die if they get hit by bleach? Hmm, let's see. Well, I'll tell you one thing, it's actually got them moving even faster. Uh, they didn't like it. Uh, I don't know, I don't think it's killed them, but they're taking off like full speed. Well, I let a few minutes go by, I had to let the camera cool down, maybe that'll be explained at the end of the video. Uh, but we've got death in our hands here, those maggots don't like bleach. That person on YouTube who told me bleach is a perfect killer was correct. Yes, I am a person who reads the comments and I do listen to what you tell me. A lot of people misunderstood the video where I had Thomas the Tank uh, in the Victor lawnmower. Um, if you can't learn a bit of material science from what I've done, well, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't really explain it any other way. Well, I'll tell you what, there's no flies on Thomas. Oops, I spoke too soon. There's one crawling around and these, well, they're all over him right now. Sorry about that, Thomas. 
But hey, I know on YouTube there's always going to be haters. Haters are going to hate, potatoes are going to potate. My daughter told me that one. I think another YouTuber had that as a bit of a slogan. And um, we can wash Thomas off and get all those dirty flies off him. So I better wrap this up before there's any more haters uh, land on me. What did we learn in this video? Well, we learned that bleach can kill maggots. We learned that Thomas the Tank, apart from nearly surviving going under a Victor lawnmower, can also float on water when he's a wooden one. We certainly learned that maggots are amazing escape artists when they want to be, and there's one going for it right now. But most importantly, we learned that sometimes you don't need that fly attractant to set up a fly trap. The fly's desire to reproduce and its pheromones is the perfect attractant for flies. And as you can see in the trap that I set up in this video, I've already lured a fly in there. In fact, there's a number of flies hovering around the top here. That will continue on to be pack loaded with flies in the weeks to come. One thing you wouldn't have learned was shaving cream can be used to kill flies because I think that's a load of baloney. But anyway, we'll try it. Right, can't see any difference there, can you? And I don't even think it kills maggots. Or well, maybe it does. Well, I hope you learned something in this video. Please don't blame me if you learned nothing. Uh, the camera I shot this with was the Sony RX100-4 on auto mode. It didn't like the hot day. It kept shutting down. In fact, I think it shut down about 15 times. I had to take it away to be cool, so it took a long time to make this silly video about flies. Anyway, I better stop whinging, and as always at the end of my videos, I say this. Thanks for watching, and fly for now. One week later. Well, I'm going to come in and probably would have had the title up, which said one week later. Now, this is the fly trap that I set up in the video you've just watched. Uh, look how many <laughs> flies are in there. Um, that's a lot of flies that weren't in the house. There's a lot of flies that are now going to die. Uh, best thing for catching flies, as strange as this may sound, is flies. I don't know about you, I'm sort of curious to pop the lid open here and see what goes on. A few will escape, but I think they're going to be far more interested in doing what they're doing down there than flying away. Oh yeah! There's all sorts of things I could say about that, but we won't go there in this video. I'm not worried about the few that got away because I know they're going to be so stupid that they're going to be lured back into the trap to play the game that they're playing down there. Well, I have to shoot something on my iPhone here because I want to talk about the camera that I used to shoot this fly video. There's the camera there. Um, that's the battery, extra battery I attached to it because the battery in it's so small, but the camera keeps shutting down in the sun. It keeps getting like an app overheating warning. It's a Sony RX100-4. Um, pain in the neck for the fact that it keeps shutting down in the sun. Now, I've had plenty of other cameras that can handle being out in the sun and um, playing in the sun. It's not shooting 4K, it's just shooting 1080 on this video. And it keeps overheating. Naughty, naughty.